Namaskar! Namaste! Good evening. Welcome to yoga. Let's get centered for the practice with conscious breath work. Take Vishnu Mood with your right hand for alternate nostril breathing. Closing off right nostril. Closing the eyes. Exhale through the left first. Deep inhale through the left. Close off. Exhale right. Inhaling right. Close off, pausing at the peak, and then release left, and exhale. Nadi showed us alternate nostril breathing going for the next minute to bring balance to the energy body, balance to the hemispheres of the brain, to prepare mind and body for the practice. For a count of 20, chin lock, chin to the chest, lifting shoulders towards the ears. Hold it in for a count of 20. of the one divine spirit that dwells within we bow arise for this yoga at the yoga stita stito I get the door for our tardy students 
Thanks for waiting patiently. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, new friend. What's your name? Um, she's from Boston. Her mom owns a yoga studio. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Feet distance apart. Hands together in front of the heart. Draw into the center. Engage your inner thighs. Belly in. Scoop tailbone. Shoulders up and back. Lifting hard up. Slide jawbone back. Activate your jai breath. Deep breath in from the back of the throat. Exhale, root down, releasing hands. Inhale, stretch up. So I'll bring the freedom of the evening. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, step back in the plank, hold plank. Spread fingers wide. Index finger leads the way. Creases the wrist parallel with the front edge of the mat. Square your mat off so it's aligned with the room. There you go. Thank you. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise up for Habhujangasana. Pause on the first one, bending elbows. Let your hips sink down. Curl your shoulders back. Slide your jawbone back. Taking gaze up. Take a couple deep breaths. Breathing into the back body. Letting the heart extend forward. And then lower down. Push back. Adamukashwanasana. Downward facing dog. First dog of the evening. Bend one knee at a time. Lengthen through the calf muscles. Stretch it out. Right leg up to the ceiling. Bend the knee. Twist. Stretch out side body. Stretch out in breath. Out breath. Consciously lengthening the space between the breaths. Tonight on the Maya calendar we have the energy of the yellow planetary human. Switch legs. Taking right foot down, left leg up and over. energy of the human is using the knowledge and wisdom that we gain through the practice to influence our personal path with freedom to enhance free will back to down dog to get out of samskaras ritualistic habits and conditionings of the mind leaning forward into plank take a vinyasa exhale chaturanga inhale rise up out rotate arms and shoulders as you curl and then flow back down dog Take down dog into a twist. Reach your right hand back for the outside of the left leg. Keeping legs straight and strong. You can walk your feet in a couple inches if you need to shorten the stance. Reaching right hand back for the outside of the left leg. Push from the top of the left shoulder out through the hand as you duck the head and twist. And then switch arms, switch legs. Down dog, and down dog, take turbo dog, keeping legs straight, hips lifting to the back of the room, bend the elbows towards the floor, two inches, don't let them touch, keep them hovering, hold it, <laughs> pushing head up, index knuckles down, in slow motion, slide through, take a vinyasa. And then flow back, down dog. Hold it, five deep ujjayi. Bend knees, gaze up, at the end of the exhale, step or jump from the mat, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow, pushing thigh bones back and apart, and then squeeze into the center, root down, inhale, rise all the way up, exhale, pause the chakras, crown, brow, throat, heart, turn and gaze within, deep breath in, exhale, root down, inhale, stretch up, exhale, dive forward, Inhale, lengthen and curl. Exhale, step or jump. Take a vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, flow back. Deep ujjayi. Bend knees, gaze up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Midline, squeeze into the center, root down, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, dive forward, keep it going with your breath. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step or jump, take a vinyasa.
Right foot up, side angle pose, Pars Vakvanasana. Right foot up, back foot flat. Draw belly in, scoop tailbone. You can use a block if you need it, taking it to the outside of the foot. And then scoop tailbone, deep and twist. Pushing off the back leg, stretching side body. Right knee bending deep, centered over the ankle. Right thigh parallel with the floor. Push down through both feet, lift and reach for warrior side angle. Aligning top arm with your back leg. Top rib cage down and in. Strengthen core, strengthen breath. And exhale, release, step back into plank. Feel free to work alternate hands, ridge top, fingertip or fist. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up, pausing at the peak as you curl. Angling tops of the shoulders to the back of the room, and then flow back. Second side, part is about coming up. Left foot up, back foot flat. Belly in, scoop tailbone, push off the back leg. And left knee deep, right arm reaches. Push down, lift and reach. Warrior side angle. Fire it up. Planetary human is guided by the power of universal fire, the inner heat, the tapas that we built through the practice to burn off all impurities so that you can seek a path of freedom. One more strong breath. Exhale, release, step back, plank pose. Transition mindfully with your breath. Tailing down. Inhale, ascending. Exhale, flow back. Strong press. And bend knees at the end of the exhale. Step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Midline, squeeze into the center. Root down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, pause the chakras. Turning gaze back within. Connecting to breath. The inner space. So your namaskar, be traditional one breath in each position. Deep breath in. Exhale, squat, ukatasi. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, dive forward, uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, tita. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga danda. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, flow back. Right foot up, warrior one. Back foot flat. Inhale, overhead, pausing at the peak, bending right knee deep. And then exhale, step back, plank pose. Flow through. Second side, left foot up, back foot flat, deep breath in, overhead, and left knee deep. Exhale, step back, plank pose, flow through. And reach down dog, hold it five breaths, keeping legs strong, pushing back, extending energy to the back of the room, keeping arms and shoulders lifting as you push from shoulders out through index knuckles. So good, let's do one more. Same thing, bend the knees, step or jump, and inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, squat, ukatasana, inhale, overhead, exhale, samastitahi, pausing, back in mountain pose, with your hands in prayer position, deep breath in, exhale, squat, inhale, overhead, exhale, dive forward, utana, inhale, lengthen, petita, exhale, step or jump, chetora, lower down, inhale, ascend, Janga or Urdhva Mukha, exhale, flow back, Adha Mukha, right foot up, Virabhadra, warrior one, back foot flat, deep breath in, overhead, exhale, step back, plank, flow through, second side, one deep breath, left foot up, inhale, overhead, pausing as you curl, and then step back, plank, flow through, very nice, hold down dog, Relax outer body, expand inner body with deeper, fuller in breaths. Bend knees, maybe exhale, step or jump. And now lengthen, exhale, fold. Squat, ukatasana, inhale overhead. Exhale, samastitihi, pausing. Back in mountain pose, hands in prayer. 
equalizing awareness and attention. Sorry, now Mascar B. Scan to south. Deep breath in. Exhale, squat. Hold it. Take it overhead. Strengthen core. Squeeze belly in. Rib cage in. Pull arms and shoulders back. Keep them lifting behind your ears. And then go deeper, halfway forward. Ardha Ukatasana. Breath in, exhale forward fold, Uttanasana, inhale lengthen, exhale step or jump, Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down, inhale rising up, exhale down dog, and then lift your right leg behind you, three legged dog, lean forward into plank, lower halfway down, Triyanga, push back strong, right foot up, Virabhadra with your back heel up, squaring off hips, take it overhead, deep breath in, squeeze legs together, lifting up out of the hips, you can gaze up, exhale, bend right knee deep, hips forward and down. Yes. Or you can wiggle your right foot to the right, a couple inches. Maria in the back row, you can wiggle your right foot to the right. So one of the, the forward foot. There you go. <laughs> now we've got a few inches between your feet, so you're not on a balance beam, and you've got more balance and stability, so you can really work the back bend. If you feel like you're losing your balance, then wiggle your right foot to the right to create more width, which increases stability. The unwritten rules, remove the forward foot. To adjust width, back leg to adjust length. Exhale, release, step back into plank pose. Take a vinyasa. Left leg lifts behind you. Going forward in a plank. Get in the push up, halfway down, Triyanga. Push back strong, step it up, Virabhadra. Square it off. Left foot can wiggle to the left if you need more stability. Take it overhead, deep breath in, squeezing thighs together, drawing energy up the legs. Keeping your back leg straight, bend left knee deep on the exhale, hips forward and down. More strong breaths, challenge breath. Take your gaze up towards the hands, falling hands to the back of the room. One more strong one. And then exhale, release, plank pose. Vinyasa. Up, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Squat deep, Ukatasana. Chair pose. Arda, halfway. Go lower and deeper. Keeping arms, chest, thighs parallel to the floor. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, jump up or jump back or step back. Take a vinyasa. Right foot up to the front of the mat and pause. Both hands to the top of the thigh. Reconnecting the breath. The source of spirit. And then bowing forward. Squeeze legs together. Go for the clasp behind the back. Lift shoulders up. Slide jawbone back. Squeeze arms in. Upper back in. Keeping back leg straight and strong. Bend right knee deep. You can lift your forward heel if you want to go further. Coming up high onto the balls of both feet. Veer stomp up, back foot flat, humble warrior, bow to the heart, take it overhead. Work the arm bounce, sage condemn your pose, right arm under, back heel up, right foot slides out to the right, take it up. You're not going to let your shoulder touch this block. Foot slides up. Now lower halfway down. Let's keep this lifting. There you go. Hold it. Very nice. Second side. Left foot up and pause. Both hands to the top of the thigh. Connecting the breath. We pause in asana. Energy expands. Awareness expands. And then we integrate and take it further. Bowing forward, squeeze in with more strength in the legs. Clasp hands behind the back, shoulders up. Slide jawbone back, squeeze arms in, upper back in. Bend left knee deep, lift the forward heel if you're going further.
Back foot flat, Vera Stamba, take it over, Ed. Arm balance, each count down you two, left arm under, keep that right shoulder lifting, level with your upper back. Stay there, new friend. I'm gonna use this for your for your support. Okay. Bring this hand a little wider. Then this knee's gonna push into your arm until the slip lifts like this. And then lower down and lift your back foot up. There you go, hold it there. Right foot up, side angle pose, round two. Back foot flat, left arm reaches. And then bow forward to the heart, straighten right leg for triangle pose. Keep the tree cone asana, re scoop tailbone. Out rotating right thigh, deep in twist, take left arm straight up. Keeping quads lifting, kneecaps lifting. Push down strong through big toes and pinky toes. Stay with the breath. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Top hand back to the hip, step it up. Let's top foot, toes to the face, and then push out through the heels. You can hold it here if you want to work the back bend. Ardha Chandra Chapa, it's optional. You want to bend the knee to the chest and reach for the top of the foot. And then curl the shoulder back, taking the head back. Hands down, standing split, over prasarita, ekapadasana. Stack hips, lift left hip high. And squeeze the leg into the center to lift it higher. Set hands or forearms. You can kick up to a handstand or forearm stand. Feel free to use the wall or the door if you're at the periphery. Otherwise, I'll give you a spot if you want it. Wave your hand. If not, just take a vinyasa. I got you. Go for it. Kick. Just keep your legs together. Push your head up strong. That's it. Really strong. Keep the legs squeezing in. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, getting better every week. Second side, left foot up, side angle pose. Back foot flat, right arm reaches. Down to the heart, squeeze in our thighs together as so you straighten left leg. Lift your quads up, outer rotate top of the thigh. And then push out through the feet as you deepen twist, taking the right arm straight up. Relax muscles of the face, root of the mouth, deepen the breath, enjoying the present moment, the opportunity to refine form, to embody spirit, to build more life force. Step it up, half moon pose. Top foot, pushing from hips out through the heels. If you're going further, Ardha Chandra Chapa, knee to the chest, reaching for the foot if it's available. Curling shoulder back, head moves straight back into the tops of the shoulder blades. Both hands down, standing split over Prasarita. Mukha Vriksha, kick up or kick back, take a vinyasa, go for it. Good line, head up. Basi on the right, side arm balance pose. 
stage. Just this is the locking onto the right hand and the outer edge of your right foot. You can have your left foot in front of you if you need more balance. You can come on your forearm if you want to take pressure off the wrist, or you can take your right hand in front of the shoulder. You've got options. You can bring the foot up in the tree and reach for the big toe. If you reach for the foot, keep curling from the hard space until you land in wild thing, kamakata. Tips high and curl. Bring arm bone beside cheekbone, palm face in, pinky finger hooking in. Very nice. Switch sides. Stage of assist, the to the left. Oh, Sage Basista was famous for giving proper worship instruction for Skanda to repeat the mantra, Om Sharavana Bhava, and to practice Skanda Vinyasa on Fridays. It's a true story, you can look it up. Step it back, wild thing, Kamakara. Curl, palm face in, pinky finger hooks in. Down dog. Turbo dog, push head up, slide through, take a vinyasa. Sage Vasistha was also famous for defeating Vishvamitra, who was on a war path and wanted Vasistha's beachfront real estate on the Ganges. Left foot up, pivot off to the side for Prasarita Pratanasana, C position. Bend your knees and arch. And then clasp hands behind the back. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Inner thighs together. Straighten legs. Straighten arms. Take it overhead. Sage Vishpamitra was out for worldly power. Trying to gain lands. Conquering kingdoms. And then he came across Vasista, Who had spiritual power. Who had trained his cows to become warrior cows. Like the ninja turtles. And these warrior cows defeated Vishpamitra's entire army. Take your hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Pushing head up. And hook your big toes with the first two fingers. Bend elbows up, squeeze shoulder blades on the back, pull forward to the floor. And Vishpamitra surrendered to the sage Vasista. He was humbly defeated and he surrendered his path and he became the student of Vasista. Inhale, lengthen one more time. And then go wider, go deeper. And then come on to the forearms, or the forehead, or the chin if you're in deep. You go as wide as you can, deep as you can. You can lower forearms onto a block if you need to. Slowly heel toe in. Come to squatting in front of the mat. Malasana. Hold the squat. Getting in the hip opener, lower back release. And then get set for the arm balance. Take hands wide. Your pinky finger can hang off your mat. Take elbows and knees wide and then lean forward. Squeeze knees into the outer arms. Lift and hold it. Take your hands in front of your feet. Clara, watch, watch her now. She was doing a prep. Look. Bring your arms in front of your feet. There you go. Optional tripod headstand if it's within your practice. Otherwise, vinyasa or rest back in child's pose when you're ready. the absence of thought, clarity of mind and presence of spirit. It's the intensity of asana, which burns up all of your thought forms so that you can connect to the awareness of the witness and the fullness and freedom in the moment. You can stay in child's pose, resting. Or take it into puppy pose if you want to get into the upper back. Utana Shishosana. Palms face up, sliding onto the chin and the chest, so you're all so you're comfortable and you're not grinding your teeth. Get you forward, right in. 
inch or two right there. If you want, you can stay there and make the rounds. Otherwise, escape back to child's pose. Breath. Oh, yeah. Thank Let's get, you. Get more dialed. <laughs> Lay flat on the belly. One arm auspicious pose. Come laying flat. Take your right arm out to the right. Palm face up, perpendicular. And then rock over onto your right side body. Stepping left foot behind you. You can flip this hand palm face up, Jenny. That way you don't stress the elbow. And you can probably bend this knee up too. And then twist like this. And boom. You're welcome. Oh, lost you, Maria. You reach your hand this. <laughs> Yoga's working. When you're ready, switch sides. You can stay there a couple more breaths. Left arm out. Lock over. Going for the clasp and shift your hips in. Deep and twist from the lower body. Arda Bekasana, half frog pose. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders like in Sphinx pose first. You're right. Put your right hand back for the inner edge of the foot. Pinch your big toe with your thumb and index finger. Don't let your thumb move. Keep it on the inside edge of the foot. Kicking back and then pull it in. Pivoting hand on top of the foot. Wow. Your thumb right there and then go boom. If you want to go further, you can lift up like in Cobra. Thank you. And then switch. Back to the inside edge of the left foot. Thumb on the inside, holding the arch of the foot, kicking back and then pull it in, pivoting hand on top. So it's below your toe knuckles. So the toes can flex back into the hand so they don't, the hand doesn't slide off the foot. Then your elbow up. Hold it right there. So good, let's do it again. Switch sides. Push for the inside of your right foot. Pushing right foot down. Nice, Allison, you got it. I got it. Got it. Finally. Now, that's right. <laughs> 200 tries. <laughs> then keeping right hand on top, pushing your right foot down. Now lower your chest down and bend your left foot up and reach for the outer edge of your left foot with your left hand. Boom. Your left foot is going to kick back as you push your right foot down for Sage Girondasana prep pose. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So this foot kicks back and this foot pushes down. Wow. Sage Garanda was one of the first three sages to write a book on Hatha Yoga. Oh. Oh. And then switch sides. Push the other foot down, left foot pushes down, and then lower down and reach for the outer edge of your right foot. Right foot kicks back as you push your left foot down. Boom. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Allison. When you're ready, release. Push back, child's pose. And okay, thanks, everybody. Press back. Bala. Oh, Makapata Raja. Kapotas. Pigeon pose.
Ini buat Find your right wrist, slide left leg in to the center of your mat, slide it to the back of the room. Walk your hands back towards the hips, pushing down to the knees, lifting the hips up, square them forward. And then bring your right hand front and center. You can use a block if you need to for support, and then reach your left hand back. Grabbing the inner edge of the foot again, kicking back, and then pull it in. Then you can go deeper into mermaid if you want to trap it in the elbow crease, or strap it and take it overhead to pull. King Pigeon. When you're ready, you can release forward, stacking fists up. I'm going to take hands wide, bending elbows up, squeezing shoulder blades on the back. Back into breath. To the freedom in the moment. or step back and switch legs. Pigeon. Left knee up wide. Right leg in and back. Stretch or full king pigeon. When you're ready, go forward. Om Shri Marichi Asana. Jump to sitting, left leg straight, bending right knee up to the ceiling. Ankle underneath the knee. Check your distance. Two fist distance between the inner edge of your foot and the inner edge of your thigh. And then right arm length bends up. And then exhale forward, wrap the arm around the shin, go for the clasp behind the back. You can use your strap if you need it. Right, behind, right hand behind you and fingertips. Take your left arm up, arching up. Exhale across, twisting to the right. Push your arm to the outside of the leg. Pushing knee across the midline. And then deep and twist from the upper back. Lifting hard up. Bring your right hand in a little closer. And then lift from here. Inhale and twist for the arm balance, like a hasta bujasana and the hasta bakrasana. Untwist. Uh, come back. <laughs> right leg over right arm. Get it up as high as you can. And then if you have a block, you can use your block underneath your left hand, or you can bring your left hand in the fist position if you need more height. Pushing down through the hands, lift your hips up, lift your left leg up. If you can hold it there, you can cross your left ankle on top and then kick your right leg out to the right for sage hasta bakras pose. From there, you can transition into Kaundinya, lifting your chest up and uncross your ankles. And then the left foot moves through the center. Just visualizing it helps also. 
Second side. Say to Marie, two Right leg straight, left knee up. Find your distance. So the outer edge of your left foot is aligned with the outer edge of the hip. And then bow through the center. Inner rotate the arm, wrap it around. For that clasp, pull toes back. Push right thigh bone down. Lengthen. Exhale, twist. Push against the knee and then rise up again, lifting hard up. And then exhale, deep and twist. And then optional wrap and bind if it's available. Inhale and twist. Left leg over left arm. You can use a block underneath your right hand if you need more height for the lift. Both hands down, two inches in front of your hips. Curling shoulders down, push down through hands. Kick your left foot down to lift your hips up. Slide your right leg back. And then optional right ankle on top, kicking the left leg out to the side. That's it. Hold it, and then chest lifts. Feet uncross, right foot moves through the hands, through the center. Nice, seated wide angle, come to sitting, taking legs out to the side. Upa Vishta. Clear sitting bones and hamstrings. Arch up and fold forward. Lower, build more strength in the legs, pushing down to the mat. Power twist over right leg, left thigh strong, pushing down. Switch. out and then flip the hands, palms face up. Up one elbow in, other elbow in, release to the jaw, root of the mouth, slowly squeeze into the center.
bring your big toes together. See if you can separate your heels an inch. And then squeeze your inner thighs together and your inner knees together. Allison, do the opposite. Big toes together, heels apart. There you go. And then halfway down, point your feet. See if you can hold it like that. Big toes squeezing together with your heels apart. This brings awareness for inversions. This is ideally how you want to have your feet for a headstand, forearm stand, and handstand so your thighs can stay inner rotating and the tailbones can stay scooping up. Lift up. Otherwise, if your heels come together too fast, it creates too much engagement in your glutes and then you lose extension from your tailbone when you're upside down. Halfway down. Arda. Keeping shoulders curling off the mat. One more round, back up. Flexing feet, toes to the face, pushing out through the heels, building more strength in your quads. Halfway down, pointing the feet, working midline, in your thighs together, outer shins together. Rest. Knees to the chest, rock around a little side to side. You made it to your back, yay. Stretch out your belly, feet underneath the knees. Lift your hips up, walk shoulder blades in. Push down through big toes, squeeze them into the center, push down through heels, pushing heels apart energetically. down, hands over lower abdomen or third eye, you can repeat or take it all the way up, Urdhva Donner Sana, hands overhead, hips up, chest up, top of the head, Curling in the back of the room. Take it all the way up. Optional push-ups. You want to lift the heels up, taking head towards the feet, and then straighten your arms, puffing chest to the back of the room. Rest, lower down. optimal from the floor or from standing. If you're done with back bends, you can take it into shoulder stands. Take the legs overhead or Viparita Karani. Placing a block underneath the hips, lifting legs up into the air. pose if you're in shoulder stand. Bend knees over ears, ear pressure pose. Slowly in 
and roll, Matsyasana fish pose. Fish holding the arch of the spine. You can lift your legs and your arms up for Uttanapada. It's optional. Sutta Padang Gustasana. Right leg up. Clasp hands behind your hamstrings first. Kick away and arch your lower back. Pushing thigh bone away. Pulling hamstrings onto the bone. Keep your legs straight and strong. And then slowly bring it closer towards the chest. Use your strap if you need to. Keep your left foot flexed, left leg strong, pushing down. Right leg strong, resisting with 10% of your strength as you slowly bring it closer. And then take it out to the right, keeping left thigh and hip pushing down. bottom foot. If you want to bend the left leg and reach for the foot with the right hand. Outer rotate right leg. Roll thigh and hip away from the face as you curl right shoulder back to the mat. And then switch. Left leg up. Clasp, resist, build strength. Engaging muscle energy in the top of the thigh. Keep it straight and strong, slowly bring it closer. Take it out to the left. Bend the leg, reach for the foot, you're going further. Baby pose. Walk arms over the legs, feet to the head or behind the head. Take it as far as you can towards Yoga Nidra. And when you're ready, twist to the right, both knees across. Left hand to the rib cage or out to the side. Back 
back up, put all the round twist or stretch however you need to. And then extend long for Shavasana. Put yourself relax fully. Enjoying space and freedom.
some movements. Stretching out with the breath, the fingers and toes. Reach arms along over our head. Breath in. Roll to the right, supporting head on the arm bone. Namaste to the Sri. Have a wonderful, super amazing rest of your weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Sorry.